Hi, this is Ms. Trust Claire here. Um, you're going to be watching a screencast on solutions where you're going to be doing some calculations. So please get the supplies that you need to be successful while watching the screencast. We've talked about molarity in class, about how much stuff is in something, so determining the concentration of a solution. And the equation to do that for molarity is you need to calculate the number of moles of solute over liters of solution. So in this problem, luckily enough, we already have those units, so we can take the four moles of sodium chloride and divide it by the two liters to give us a two molar solution of sodium chloride. However, if it were not given to us in those units, you need to make sure you do convert to moles and liters before you proceed with the problem. So for instance, in your turn, which you're going to do right now, what is the concentration of potassium chloride solution containing 250 grams of potassium chloride dissolved in 200 milliliters of solution? You will need to convert your grams to moles and your milliliters to liters before you can calculate your molarity. Conversions using molarity. Molarity is a conversion factor. It is a domino that you have so you can cancel out units. You are never going to start with molarity as you're given. So you need to remember that the capital M for molarity is the same thing as moles over liters. So if I have a three molar solution, it's the same thing as writing three moles over one liter. So in this example problem, how many liters of three molar solution can be made using 80 grams of lithium bromide? In this description here, 3M can be written as 3 moles over 1 liter or 1 liter over 3 moles. It depends on what units you need to cancel out to get to your answer. So when I do the problem, I'm not going to start off with molarity. I'm going to start off with the 80 grams and then do my conversions. And I end up with 0 0.31 liters of lithium bromide. Next problem, we have how many grams of calcium hydroxide is needed to make 2 liters of a 2 molar calcium hydroxide solution. So first, you need to make sure you can write the proper formula for calcium hydroxide and then determine the molar mass using the periodic table, which is 74.1 grams. When we do the conversions, you're not going to start off with molarity. You're going to start off with the 2 liters. You might want to hit pause before I continue on and show you the answer and try it yourself. So when I plug in my numbers, I have 2 liters of calcium hydroxide producing 296.4 grams of calcium hydroxide. Canceling out my units using molarity from the problem, and then using the periodic table to determine the molar mass. Now it's your turn. How many liters of a 1 molar solution can of, oh, excuse me, how many liters of a 1 molar solution can be made using 50 grams of lead 2 oxide? Now solution strike. This is where you're going to make some changes to your stoichiometry flow chart. We have not added this in there, so you will want to do that now. To do solution strike, again, just like the other stoichiometry problems, you need to write a properly written formula in formulas and an equation and make sure it's balanced, and then just apply what you learned last um, unit. You guys did really well on that. So, for instance, if we need to go from liters of solution A to liters of solution B, Liters of solution A, you're going to use molarity to convert it to moles of A, and then you're going to use the balanced equation to go from moles of A to moles of B, and then from moles of B, using the molarity, you're going to then be able to convert it to liters of solution B. So here's an example problem. We have 1.5 liters of a 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid solution, which reacts with potassium hydroxide. How many liters of 1 molar potassium chloride solution is produced? So you write the equation out and balance it. You're going to start with the liters, because you, we never start off with molarity. And we are going to cancel out our units by using the molarity of hydrochloric acid then using the balanced equation to go from moles of hydrochloric acid to potassium chloride, and then we can use the molarity of potassium chloride to get to liters of potassium chloride. Next problem, we have if 30 milliliters of a 1.5 molar hydrochloric reacts with 40 milliliters of a 1 molar sodium hydroxide, what is the limiting reactant? So first thing, write out the equation and balance it, which it is. And then with limiting reactants, remember you um, need to figure out how much product can be produced from each of these reactants. 
So you will pick one product, and in this case, I'm going to put, um, pick water and determine how much can be produced. So we start with 30 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, and I find out that I can produce 0 0.045 moles of water. Using 40 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, I can then convert and produce 0 0.04 moles of water. Now where do we get these conversions from? Here, we're converting milliliters to liters. Here, we're using the molarity for hydrochloric acid, and here, I'm doing a mole-to-mole -mole conversion going from hydrochloric acid to water. I'm looking at these two, I then determine that sodium hydroxide is my limiting reactant. Now take a few seconds, minutes, and answer these questions. How much water can be produced in using this problem, and why? So you need to choose one of these, and then tell me why you chose that. Now it's your turn, all on your own. How many grams of sodium chloride can be produced if two liters of a three molar sodium hydroxide solution reacts with two liters of a 1.5 molar hydrochloric acid solution? Whew, that was long. I gave you one product to help you with writing out your equation. So one product is water. It's going to require two individual steps, just like the previous slide and then you need to determine the theoretical yield, so how much product could be produced. If you have any questions, concerns, anything like that that you need help with, you can come see me before class. This is going to end the screencast, so have a good night.